Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show, I'm your host Definition, and with the explosive finale of Stranger Things 3 turning the Netflix show upside down, it's time to look to the future for what we could have coming down the line. Throughout this video I'll be giving my thoughts on what could happen in Season 4 of Stranger Things and giving the evidence to support my theories. There will be heavy spoilers here, so if you haven't seen Season 3 of Stranger Things, then I highly recommend that you turn off now. With that out of the way, I just want to give a huge thank you for clicking this video. Now let's get into my Stranger Things Season 4 predictions. Okay, so first things first, it's a pretty safe assumption to make that Stranger Things 4 will take place during Christmas 1986. The show has centred around holidays for the past two seasons, with this becoming somewhat of a motif, with Halloween and Independence Day both playing into the show massively. Christmas is paid lip service in the finale by Mike, this being the next time the characters will meet, so I can definitely see this not only being the time that the show will be set during, but also be the time when Netflix releases it worldwide. What else is so notable about 1986 is that it's also the year that the infamous Chernobyl disaster happened. With Russia now playing such a big part in the show, it makes sense that this would be included and it could be linked back to their experiments on the upside down that we've confirmed throughout the series. As the villains are once again shown in the post credits scene and are possessing a demogorgon, it makes sense for them to return as the big bad for the show and perhaps we will discover in season 4 that Chernobyl was an accident involving the country using a weapon to create a tear in reality. This too ties into the next prediction which is that the American in the other cell in the post credits scene will be revealed to be Hopper. I've already done a full video breaking down all of the evidence to support this which you should definitely check out if you want to know more, but the main points are that Hopper eyes up the tear before the machine explodes, he isn't on the platform when it's destroyed, and Russian Arnie refers to Hopper as the American on several occasions. The music at the end of the season is also the same piece that was used when the fake will was found in season 1, so it makes sense that things aren't what they seem. David Harbour who plays the character is also sporting a big beard right now, so this could either be because he's been locked in a cell for so long, or he's making a cameo as Santa Claus. Anyway, as Eleven no longer has her powers at the end of season 3, it's a safe bet to assume that she hasn't been able to look for him and find the character due to her inability to track. However, I do think that Eleven will get her powers back after coming into contact with the people who possess the same ability as her. This was a strong motif of season 2 and I can definitely see it returning so that Elle is able to rebuild her psychic abilities. She'll need all the help she can get if she's to find Hopper and fight the Russians and I can definitely see her teaming up with more psychics to take them head on. Another villain could come in the form of Will. Whilst I seem to be the only one with this theory, I think it would be cool to see the character finally taken over by the Dark Forces that have had their eyes on him since Season 1 and Season 4 could centre around the group trying to pull him back to the light side as they managed to do with Billy in the close of the current run. Will has slowly been distancing himself from his friends with his interests no longer alive aligning with theirs, and I think the fact that he now lives away from them will drive a bigger wedge that will eventually make him better about all the things that he's gone through and allow the dark forces of the Upside Down to finally take control of him. This is by far the most dramatic villain that they could have and the stakes would really rise by making Will a target. The final prediction I don't think will come in Season 4, but rather Season 4 will set it up for Season 5, and that is the death of Eleven. For season 4 her powers are going to be pretty weakened and if she has to use them she will no doubt overpower herself. In season 1 something similar happened with Eleven with the character almost dying due to everything becoming too much for her. During an interview with Esquire co-creator Ross Duffer when discussing this said, Eleven was going to sacrifice herself to save the day, that was always the end game. Which to me cements that eventually, at some point, Elle will succumb to having to use her powers. They obviously weren't going to kill her off in Season 1, as they're not Game of Thrones, however this comment does highlight that down the line they are planning for her death. I can see this being a huge way to end the show once and for all, and whilst it is extremely tragic, it also ensures that Stranger Things goes out with a bang. Obviously I'd love to hear your thoughts on these predictions, and if you agree with them or not. Comment below and let me know and if you enjoyed this video then please like it and make sure you check out my breakdown of everything you need to know about the Upside Down which will be linked at the end. It covers all the things we know so far about the Dark Realm and is definitely worth checking out if you want to know more. I also just want to let you know that we're giving away a free copy of Avengers Endgame to one lucky winner and all you have to do is like this video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and leave your thoughts on Stranger Things 3 in the comments section below. The winner will be chosen at random on August the 10th and the Blu-ray will be shipped out from then to whoever gets the prize. Best of luck to everyone who takes part and I'll see you next time.
This is a channel for people who are never missing television, so if that's the kind of thing you like, you need to subscribe to Definition. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this. You've been the best, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.